In this video, I will be disassembling this 2018 Porsche Cayenne LED headlight. Here is the part number on the light. I will begin by cutting off the rest of the lens. I've disconnected the lens from the light. Along the bottom here are a handful of T20 screws. I'm going to start removing those now. There is a small wire connector on the back side of this LED. I need to use a screwdriver to release the clip in order to pull it off. Next I'm going to remove the T20 screws from the top of the projector. With the screws removed from the top of the bezel, it can be popped out. I'm going to use a long Torx bit to reach behind the projector and remove the four T20 Torx screws from the AFS motor mount. With the four T20 Torx screws removed, I now have room to loosen the bracket inside of the light to pop out these two headlight adjuster bolts. Next, I'm going to release the AFS motor wire harness. With the AFS motor harness released, I'm going to reach through and twist and unlock the AFS motor itself. With the AFS motor unlocked, the projector will now move a little bit. Next, I'm going to release the projector mount that is right here behind this lower LED unit. I will be using a small flathead screwdriver to pop this mount off of the bracket. There is a mounting tab right here behind this shield. I'm going to use a screwdriver to pop it to the side. Next, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers to release the tab behind the shield. Next, I'm going to release the upper wire harness clip. Next, I will use a small pocket screwdriver to pop out this wire connector. With this wire connector free, I can pull out the lower LED unit. I now have access to a T20 Torx screw. Next, I'm going to remove this shroud for the LED fan by removing a few more T20 Torx screws. With that shroud out of the way, I now have access to the two bottom mounts for the LED projector. There is a small connector on the tip of the AFS motor that needs to be released. With that last connector removed from the AFS motor, we can now pull the LED unit out. 
Next, I'm going to remove the two bottom T20 Torx screws holding in this mount. Next, I'm going to release the clip for the AFS controller. Next, I'm going to release the clip for the main wire harness connector. With both of the connectors released, we can now pull the bottom unit out with the wire harness. Here we can see that the main wire harness connector is zip tied to the bottom of this lower bezel. At this point, the headlight housing is now empty. Next, I'm going to remove the black bezel from this side LED. The plastic lens over the LED is held on with two T10 Torx screws. Next, I will remove the bezel from the lower LED unit. I will begin by removing the two T20 Torx screws. Next, I'm going to remove the 9mm nut. Next, I will begin removing the T10 Torx screws. Next, I'm going to release the wire harness. With the lower bracket removed, I can now release the clips holding on the upper covers. The two LED units are now free. I will begin disassembly of the main LED projector by going to the rear. I'm going to start by removing this plastic cover. I first need to loosen the wire connector. Next, I will remove the four T20 Torx screws holding it on. Next, I will release the two wire harness connectors on the LED drive unit.
Next, I'm going to remove this upper shroud. I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver to get behind it and pop it forward to release all the clips. With the clips released, I'm going to now disconnect the two wire harness connectors. Next, I'm going to remove the T10 torque screws holding in the LED drive units. Here are the two upper LED drive units. Each reflector is held on with a single T10 Torx screw. Next, I will remove both side LED units by removing the T20 Torx screws holding them in place. In order to remove the outside LED unit, we need to remove the black bezel from the projector. The black bezel is held on by a clip on the top and a clip on the bottom. The reflector on each side LED unit is held in place by two T10 torque screws. Next, I'm going to remove the lens holder by removing the T20 torque screws. Next, I'm going to remove this bracket holding on the LED reflector. There are four T20 screws all held in at an angle. At this point, the light is fully disassembled. Here are the components from the light. These are the two upper and lower four-point LED units.
Here are the two side LED units. Here is the LED unit from the side of the light. Here is the projector lens. Here is the LED refractor. Here is the main LED drive unit. Here is the AFS motor mount. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching.